there's a small success with this five of pentacles and that's realizing i'm sorry to be harsh but that's realizing that this is not it that's realizing that there's potential elsewhere Five of pentacles plus another one for the four is a five, okay? That, that, that means there's a ten. Both of you take one and you go and you separate and you add to somewhere else. If you want to do some adding and subtracting. We still have this. Let me, let me get something else for that as the queen of wands. So there is um, some sort of negative force here. We have the king of swords. There's a lot of back and forth between knowledge and passion. There's a lot of passion here with them too. And you can say that the passion and the determination to keep going is definitely something that they're about. The passion to keep going, to keep going. And they, they, get, some old, they get some tiny success here and getting over what they've gone through. You understand? You know, getting one of them is a little more adamant on... On, on getting through this success and I do believe it's the karmic I do believe it's her this reading is for her but I just I you know and then they're given some sort of success what's underneath that is the king of swords okay and then the king of pentacles but it just keeps going on and on and on and on you know there is a mini success here and I don't want to take from them that you know because with you know they're human we're all human but there's something here that the karmic situation is not able to understand and I do believe it's because of the karmic how she really believes sometimes that you know the day-to-day -day can really get to yes but the seven of cups talks about and it's like because so, she's so used to just having to go back to the drawing board you know she gets caught up in it and I don't believe she really sees sometimes that you know it's not meant to be with this man and then it's a it's a whole nother story with the divine masculine into trying to get him to understand why he's called to change and purge and withdrawals and oh and it's just like they're stuck in this fantasy and this reality that their their time has come <laughs> and gone. But, you know, there's one thing I do want to say about this is this is great. When there's a partnership here and they can stick it through, that's great. Even if you've inflicted it on yourselves, you know, it's, you, know you should always get some sort of break. There's never, we, we're not given too much that we can't handle. Let's get some more for this five of pentacles spirit so we can better understand and better convey this story. Let's, so the queen of wands again. Okay. And, and I do believe it's the karmic partner because there's something that she's just not able to see. We have the ace of wands again, and it's like, yeah, you know, the passion, the determination, the drive, but to go where to make sure you keep getting out of this, but you're going to keep falling into this. I'm surprised the tower card is in here. The five of swords trying to win at all costs. It's like you, you're just, you're, you're breaking each other down. Okay. You could be buttering him up, you know what I mean? It's someone is behind this, you know, and I, I believe it's it could be her, but there's something behind this that's pretty dark that allows them to believe that what they've gone through is all part of the happy journey, and we can see that there's nothing happy or blissful or positive about it. But um, that's an interesting thing right there, this fire energy. And it seems that that's where they can only um, resound, resound. You know what I'm saying? Like the Six of Cups. Think about the Six of Cups. The Queen of Swords. It's because she wants this. But I think they get confused. I think the lesson of here is that they just really get confused and in, into believing that any kind of faith, you know, here we have the faith. Yeah, any kind of faith. And she's looking right at it. She's looking right at it. It's because she really feels and she sees the light at the end of the tunnel. But honey, it's with someone else. It could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's with someone else. But I don't think she sees that. I don't think sometimes the, both of them don't see that. That's why a lot of us aren't with our divine masculine today. But, you know, there's a lot of deficits. We're talking about the karmic here. She has this faith. Okay. Hmm. Look, the three of swords. 
And then that goes to talk about how she feels like it doesn't work out because there's someone else involved, hence the divine feminine. And it's because, well, yeah, this is our look. Yeah, the three of pentacles. This is our divine masculine. And we only know that because we see we see the light at the end of the tunnel. We see exactly who we're working for. It sucks for us because they're with someone else, but not someone that they're supposed to be with. It's not someone that they're supposed to be with. We see that. She has this faith. You know, let's clarify the full card. Let's just get the full card going for the karmic card. Talk to us, spirit. Let's help understand what you want us to know. The chariot, you know, a straight direction, a straight path. This is cancer energy, emotion into knowing this is exactly what I'm going to do and no one's going to tell me otherwise. And that's that That's that stubbornness. That's that na being naive into thinking like, hey, dude, I, you know, this is the person for me. And, you know, I don't believe she believes that 100% all the time. I mean, why would you go in it like you know, thinking you're going to get the Ten of Cups. But I mean, hey, you know, it's just because there's something I'm really trying to say here, and I hope you understand that there's a faith here. You know, look, there we are at the bottom of the deck, the Tower card. Okay, need I like say more? There's a faith here that she believes because she sees and she feels. And it's like, remember the pact you two made. It wasn't something spontaneous that was supposed to happen like that six of cups. But nevertheless, the justice card is here. I think that spirit telling me to close it out. This is going to be like a million parts video. So sorry for that. But, um, you know, the justice card is going to balance that out because after this, you know, a lot of things can come from that. So you don't want to wish any bad on anyone. But I hope you guys understand that the Queen of Cups here, you know, for, for you watching and for the karmic, you know, we're all destined for a lover here. And, you know, again, with the Queen of Cups, we're all destined for a lover. And I just believe she, she may be a little bit in denial. The Empress. Okay, there's, there's, and the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. King of Swords. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. I I believe she's she's gonna have she's um the Queen of Cups again. So this could be a water sign, this karmic or not, but there's she's gonna have to do some soul searching. I I believe that she's she's needing to tap in to something to because her thinking that she can crumble it and start again crumble it like burn it to death and start again is the karmic loop and i think because she really believes that she sees this happening with this person it's not maybe her so much her obsession with him but it's an obsession to win and the five of swords it's an obsession to finally find this happiness but it's like she gets so winded and it's like she, then you're already denied and then you got to it's it's a karmic loop. OK, guys, so thanks so much for watching. Bye.